This week on Fish the Baja, I try my hand at a little bit of fly fishing on the East Cape. Hosting me is Jeff DeBrown of The Real Baja, and Jeff really knows fly fishing down here. This is an exciting episode, and you'll really want to come down here and do this with Jeff when you see these fish. There you go. Absolutely. Awesome. That is amazing. Fly out there for me. Baja, presented by Ono. Today on Fish the Baja, I'm fly fishing for rooster fish with Jeff DeBrown. Jeff is going to tease up some rooster fish for me with bait right next to this jetty, and you will not believe how many rooster fish come up. And Jeff has got it dialed in with the teasing and the live bait to make it easy for any fly caster to try his hand at this. Something I've always wanted to do, I've come down the Baja, I don't know, 20 times and, and um, always wanted to catch uh, a rooster fish on the fly rod and it, it's just, I've done it once from the beach and, and it was tough, hard cast, I lost a fish at the beach, but I've never really had uh, some roosters on the fly, so when I heard of Jeff DeBrown, I threw Rancho Leonera, I thought, I really want to get with this guy and we started trading a few emails and, and a phone call, um, so I was really excited about coming down and catching a bunch of stuff, but really wanted to catch some roosters. You know, the key to getting rooster fish is getting up early. Make sure you get a bunch of bait and get out there before the fish are molested by a bunch of other boats. The Real Baja is a fly fishing guide service based here in East Cape, Mexico, uh, about an hour north of Cabo San Lucas. Um, we cater to fly fishermen. Uh, we do a little bit of light line tackle as well you know, if somebody is new to the fly and, and uh, has a hard time with it. But we, we try to give each angler a learning experience, whether it's you know somebody that's fly fished a lot or not fly fished much at all. I try to have anglers not only have fun and catch fish, but also come away with some knowledge within the sport, whether it be knots or casting instruction or catching fish that they've never, never caught or only heard about. We're going to tie a little leader here, um, a straight 20 pound, and I'm going to put a bemity twist in here for a little shock and show you what we do. So it, does it act kind of like a shock absorber then? The knot is 100% not, and it acts like a shock absorber, and then what I do is I'll, I'll take and modify the, the, the other end of it to even give it more. I'll show you. So bemity's, so it's wrapping back up on itself. Yeah, it's going to roll right back down on itself. And half hitch or two down in the bottom. Half hitch to hold it. And you've got four consecutive half hitches around around that. Yep. Around the uh, around both standing both. ends. Okay. And then what I do is I take this through the top and I'll cut it. Most people use a tool to cut it. But yeah, yeah. His dentist appreciates it. <laughs> it's a built-in tool. <laughs> That's right. So then we'll so then you're twisting up. Spin these together. Loop together. And at the top, yeah, it was tight. Any loop knot, but a perfection loop seems to work very well. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now I've got. Cut these. <laughs> but now I've got two pieces of mono that go against the, the butt section, and plus I've got a big spring here. Show this one. Yeah, that's great. It's straight all the way out to the plot. So it just gives you a little grace. In case you get a little fast urge that you're not. A little heavy handed, yeah? Mm -hmm. Jeff and I had been trying to fish together all week and we only had one bit of a morning to get this done and so 
he said he knew where the fish were, and you know what? We were just going to run right over, throw some bait, tease him up, and catch a few roosters on the fly. So that's what we headed to do. If it swims, we, we can catch it on a fly. Inshore, we've got three, three areas, beach fishing, inshore, offshore. At the beach, we catch a lot of rooster fish, jack creval, ladyfish, pompano, a few pargo. Offshore, those same species along with dorado, tuna, marlin, um, and a few others that are unexpected at times. We're here to make the customer happy. We can't guarantee fishing. Fishing's going to take care of itself one way or the other. And what we can try to do is give you the best time and opportunity to catch fish that we can provide. We had a, a tough day outside one day. Couldn't get any billfish to come up. And, and just said, I know we can find some fish. Uh, down by the marina and got an extra couple loads of sardinas and we went down there and sure enough, boy, as soon as we started throwing bait, comb started coming up and I mean there's just something that happens in you. If that doesn't excite you, you need to go see if you're alive. Rooster fish is a great fly rod fish. They're a little bit picky. Um, they can, the guys that are good down here, like Jeff, uh, have developed their own patterns. Uh, he, he even does some stuff with his own material stuff, kind of secret, you know, it's like McDonald's secret sauce. He won't tell you what it is, um, uh, but uh, the flies work. You know, so having the right fly is only one of the recipes. You've got to be comfortable with casting it. And taking a few warm-up casts is a great idea. It's got to be perfect. If it's not perfect, you get a lot of a lot of looks. They're the masters of refusal. You get a lot of looks, and uh, but if it's right and they want it, they'll eat it. But they're a beautiful fish. I mean, there's there's no fish like them. seem like that real splashy heat from a needlefish, but okay. I don't know. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You forget how hot it is right now until you get down here and start making a few casts and stripping oh, like the hard fish. Oh, beautiful. There it is. Beautiful. Stay down here. Hookah. Hookah. Yeah. Hookah. Like the hookah yeah. bars in yeah. the States. Hookah. Because the up doesn't. Yeah. Hookah. Hookah. Thanks for playing, buddy. You know, 
This is such a nice looking fly jack. Looks a little bit like Don King with the egg beater. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> He's a little out of whack. He's, he's a little out of whack. So, I think yeah, we might have to. We might retire him and okay. throw another one on I'd there. Love to have that fly. You can certainly have it. Awesome. I have a collection of stuff stuck on my wall, stuck in the visor of my truck. Yeah. You know, and yeah. I'm like, I don't remember that fly. I don't remember that fish. Here's what it should look like <laughs> originally. Yeah. That's before the rooster. Bef before and after. after. <laughs> <laughs> Here, turn it this so. way. <laughs> yeah, that's. Yeah, they do some damage. Yeah. Since Jeff has been down here 12 years, he knows how these people fish traditionally. And then he can take his knowledge of fly fishing, what they're used to normally doing, and actually make your day work out. He, he's bilingual, he can communicate to the captains in such a way that taking their knowledge and saying, I want to do this, and it makes for a successful day. Pitch to the reel, whatever it takes to get it to that reel. Pinch and reel. Good fish, good job. Yeah, baby. Woo! Nice job. I'm concentrating so much I'm not talking. It's all right. That's all right. Keep the rod tip down. There you go. Oh, God. That is so cool. It is. It's just it's the best. Watching these guys eat. Go be fit. Let you have a little more fun. <laughs> you know, it seems like they're done, and then something like that. Just yeah. I remember one time on a tarp, and a friend of mine been on for like an hour in Louisiana. And we had it at the boat. Somebody dropped something, and it's boop the tarp. And it's like, who did that? Who did that? He <laughs> got another hour. Crying hour ago. <laughs> because he, he was hurting so badly. Yeah. It was a 155 and a half. You oh, know. Yeah. Yeah. Hot sun in Louisiana. Yeah. fish here during the season, um, which is April through October. November and December, we do a lot of live aboard trips in Magdalena Bay, which is no located north of us on the Pacific side. Um, and it is, when the fishing slows down here, it happens there and it's phenomenal. <laughs> There we go. Woo. Oh, yeah. Very nice. So they're so so gorgeous. I, you know, you see, I see a lot of them down here, obviously in the Baja, but every single one is it, so it, pretty. And the black stripes. Yeah. And these are not, you know, these fish are perfect fly rod fish. These aren't huge fish right now, but we do get them big, and and but they're just fun. They're just fun in general. Doesn't matter how big they are. Yeah. I just love watching them swim off in the colors. Yeah. 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 Thanks for playing. We're also going to, uh, in 2011, start doing some live aboard trips for rooster fish and jacks and dorado in, in places that are a little too far for the for the day boat to get to, and uh, we're going to see some, some uncharted territory. One of the things today, the roosters were just boiling, and I mean, when you get fish doing that, you get a, more than one fish, you get some competition and it can really uh, make it a lot easier to get a bite. So, um, man, I, I got so excited a couple times. I, I, my casting was getting bad, and, and uh, but 
hey, how often do you get that excited? watching the locals cast for sardines close to shore and you know what that's where the roosters are where the bait is close to shore it's a great place to fish That's a nice rooster fish. Awesome, another one right out ahead of us, right out in front of us. Woo! There you go. Nice little rooster awesome. fish. That is going to take that out there for me. Come on, Ben. It's a, it's a good hook. Yes, it is. There you go. So, so beauty. This is a signature fish of the Baja, and I mean, Catch them on a fly like this it's, early in the morning. It's great. It's great. It's great. Let's go get another one. All right. Hooking my first rooster on the fly is great. I mean, Jeff told me exactly what to do. He's, I like it. He's not shy about saying you need to strip longer, uh, faster, slower, whatever. He'll tell you exactly what to do. You don't have to have a lot of saltwater fly fish experience to catch a fish down here. Jeff is very good. He'll give you some instructions how to strip out of cast, you know, I, I get excited and so I was going too fast, he told me I'm, I'm putting on power too quickly, whatever, and he's seen enough people cast that he's a very good instructor. Great fish. Another, another nice rooster. They're so pretty, I just love the strength mm. and everything, they're absolutely, absolutely yeah, fly out of there. Good hook up. Yep. Very nice. You want to release him? Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. You're more than welcome. Very nice. fly fishing in salt water, Jeff is a great guy to come down. And of course, Rancho Leonero is a very easy place. It's not these hour long runs and you might catch a fish. Uh, he can put you on some fish and this is a great place to stay right here in the East Cape, fishing with the real Baja. I'm leaving fish. No, I hate leaving fish. I mean, all right, I'll come back here and catch it for you. Okay. Send you photos. 
don't do that. Just rub it in. My brother, I, when he went went back and I got the big tune, he's like, he just sends me these nasty emails. Yeah. So like, don't, don't send me to me. But, put, put it this way. Let's just get you back down and do it again. Absolutely. We're going to be back down here and fish with Jeff Brown, the real Baja. This has been a fantastic experience. I mean, appreciate it. Yeah, no, we didn't know each other before we came down. I think we're fast friends. Uh, I have a feeling we'll be doing a lot of fishing together.